out about some documents need to provide with my application form for renewal of the uh, blue card and uh, it looks like the weather is changing again it was like really really nice and sunny but suddenly we got some wind and a bit of uh, clouds yeah and uh, just a little bit of the overview for you guys as green yet <laughs> because the trees are uh, not having too many leaves yet okay so yeah but it's still quite nice anyway okay let's just uh, go and uh, see what they're going to tell me just a little bit of today's view of the rock oh there's clouds <laughs> i think it's going to be raining again or something like that and if you don't know that CSRO is that way. Okay. So and that's why if you are first time applying for residency, that's where you need to go. Which is gonna be on the other side. And you can get here by bus by the way, number 2479. So, right. I think maybe I just go through the other side actually. Usually would go from Main Street but you can go this way a little bit slightly different way today Side. So, yeah, getting really dark maybe it will be rainy again <laughs> so, changed weather is changing so much from heat to cold no wind wind yeah. pretty empty here <laughs> see if you want to avoid crowds you can go on the side roads and just walk I mean you'll have a little bit of traffic here but at least not uh, crowds of people can just avoid when it's very busy when you have cruises and it's hard to walk on main streets so you can just take the side roads see it's quite nice little garden down there all this greenery and uh, pretty much nearly there By the way, remember I was making a video from Manchester Cafe, just it's just over there. If you go just down there and then you'll uh, find it. Manchester fans, Manchester United fans. <laughs> Cafe. And uh, here's the office, okay? That's the one. Just gonna show you the hours it's walking since so until only 2 p.m. Yeah, that's why I couldn't make it yeah. yesterday. <laughs> okay, guys, so doing the updates. <laughs> uh, just left CSRO, immigration office. Here's the main street. Okay, I just came out from there. And now I'm going to the tax office. So basically, I need one more paper. And... Uh, I might be okay then <laughs> afterwards <laughs> and uh, I need to get the certificate of compliance from the tax office so well they told me that they should print it out for me from uh, the office if I'll ask but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to find out because usually they ask for anything you need through the email these days so yeah uh, yep so that's how the day <laughs> goes, guys, after that. So let's see if they're going to print it out for me. And then after that, I'm going to pop uh, into the um, agent for the insurance, for the house insurance. So I just want to find out about insurance for properties you let. Okay. I have 
been to the office already they gave me also application form and i have lots of questions <laughs> too many questions so complicated to be honest so and that's why i want to do it with them to see what they're going to uh, say help me with the fill in that form again yep it's not easy because i am going to do it with airbnb obviously but you know sometimes maybe people would want to stay uh, in the apartment without airbnb and i need the cover in case they'll break something <laughs> okay the guests might break I, I mean i don't know by accident or whatever like you know break tv or burn the sofa who knows <laughs> yeah that's kind of like the worries of renting out is that the how much the damage could be done to the property because you know when many people when they're on holidays they just don't care so uh, yeah that's why um, we will see also have some other questions about all of these things like do i need to collect people ids do they need to sign short-term rental uh if they're not with airbnb so yeah kind of a lot of things need to be cleared out okay so we're pretty much at the end of the street Ooh, cute doggies and uh, the tax office is up up the stairs is going to be in a minute for self-employed yes because i'm not employed here i'm self-employed and for me it's a different office because the office for employment is right here oh yeah it is open and i'm going up there yeah so that's where you need to go if you registered as self-employed sometimes monkeys actually come here you know on the on the stairs seen seen them long time ago though haven't seen them for quite a while do you know that <laughs> maybe you didn't but we had a monkey which escaped <laughs> escaped Gibraltar and went to Spain can you believe it yeah it was all over the news the monkey went on a tour to Spain <laughs> it was returned <laughs> actually it was returned back home smart monkey how does it go through did they stamp his passport <laughs> or her i don't know was it a boy or girl so yeah here's the here's the tax office for self-employment well it was only five minutes no queues and yeah i got my certificate of compliance it was really fast and uh, nice so i'm quite pleased with it <laughs> and now guys actually i thought while i have time because i wasn't sure how long it's going to take me uh, to do all those things i'm going to pop into police office yes because i want to clarify something else uh, about uh, property occupancy obviously my main uh, also uh, question is going to be just like in spain you know if someone decided to go and live in your place and just that wouldn't want to leave it can you actually call the police and uh, make them to get out from your place because you know in spain uh, it's kind of law that you are not uh, allowed to get people out of your property so if they escort us you know you heard about it it's a really strange law in spain obviously that allowing people to uh, break into your house leave there do whatever they want and you are not even uh, allowed to call the police to get them out you have to do it through the um, court and usually it takes ages to get rid of those quarters you know so i uh, kind of heard that it shouldn't be the problem uh here in gibraltar should be different but i want confirmation you know i'm that kind of person when i'm doing something i have to be 100 percent sure about everything i need to know all the laws <laughs> so and uh and then i would be um, quite um, um happy uh, about knowing everything so yeah and i'm gonna take a bus uh, because uh, the police station is well i mean i could walk but it's probably about 10 minutes walking but then i have to walk to the insurance office so kind of going to be a little bit too much walking and it's like it's not very nice and pleasant in this weather condition is starting 
uh, looking like uh, might start to get rainy or something. So yeah, we will see. Uh, the bus uh, stop in here. We have, I think I need bus number four because going to Rogia. So, and I, I mean, I have also bus number nine. So one of them, I presume I'm going to, I'm going to ask. I haven't been there for quite a while on the, on the bus. So yeah. That's the only police station we have because we used to have one on the main street, um, yeah, on um, Cosmet Square, but uh, they removed it from there. So now you need to go, the only one police station is uh, where Roger is, so yeah, okay. Bus number 49 stop, request stop South Gates, and this is where you can find police station. Well, that's it guys. So now I'm running in Irish town, back home. Got all the papers I needed. So uh, good news with police is they're saying it is definitely fine to call them. Hi, how are you? <laughs> if uh, uh, someone decided not to get out from your flat. So yeah, the police will come and help you with that situation but they're saying pretty much it's not happening here in Gibraltar those kind of incidents <laughs> okay but it's uh, nice to know you know and uh, know that you are um, covered protected okay so uh, yeah I'm uh, going to have lunch now at home with pancakes continuing the pancake week and uh, to do a bit of the trading yep the news are coming soon so that's why i'm in a rush today and uh and then uh, that's pretty much it the day would be kind of finished so staying at home <laughs> doing, doing other stuff uh whatever needs to be finished like fill in the forms again and hopefully fingers crossed tomorrow we'll be able to go to spain and on thursday back to csro to put all the documents and uh, yeah, and then we will see where else uh, going to be their other agenda. <laughs> so kind of crazy week, I have to say. Well, that's it for now, guys. So thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.